welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have um, some makeup to test and I'm talking about makeup from Catrice and Essence. Um, I'm gonna test a new makeup from these two brands. Uh, by the way, Catrice guys and Essence are German um, companies uh, and I don't know if they're rivals or anything. Uh, I know they're cruelty free so um yeah i have quite a few bits to test out today so let's go and transform this face in something beautiful uh, as you can see i've already done my eyebrows because uh, i don't have any eyebrows uh, product uh the first thing i'm gonna test out today is actually this eyeshadow palette this is called catrice the fresh nude collection eyeshadow palette uh this is how it looks like i think it's a gorgeous eyeshadow palette nude um, you even have, I think this is for the face, if I'm not mistaken. So you have like a, because it's a sculpt in light. Um, you have some pretty light shades in here and also the darker ones. By the way, guys, these are all matte. So these four ones are matte. These ones are shimmery. Um, this is not shimmery. So I'm, I'm really curious how this is gonna behave. I did try uh, last time another eyeshadow palette from Kat Catrice, which wasn't that great, but this, I don't know, sounds promising. Um, I'm gonna do some swatches as well because I'm really curious of the formula of this eyeshadow palette. Um, first, I'm gonna apply an eye base and I will come right back. Okay, so first things first, uh, as I said, I'm gonna do some swatches because I'm really curious um, how this eyeshadow palette is behaving. It, they look creamy. Yes, these are actually pigmented, so uh, they don't have any names, by the way, as you can see in the pan. But this seems promising. Okay, guys, so these are the swatches, to be honest. The eyeshadow palette, it does look really creamy on touch, so uh, they don't seem really powdered. They actually feel um, quite buttery and, and pigmented. So I'm impressed till now. Um, by the way, these two shades in here are the light and sculpt, and these are all the colors which they quite look pigmented. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with this shade in here, and it seems pigmented. It does seem pigmented. So far, I like it. And then I'm, I'm going to take this shade in here as well. And I'm just going above the crease. Then I'm going to take this shade in here. And then in my inner part, I'm going to take this lighter shade. Which again, I like it. it. It feels quite a nice shimmer. And then in this bit in here, I am gonna use, uh, I think I'm gonna combine these last two shades. And also on the lower lash line, I'm going to use the shade Sculpt. And also on the brow bone, I'm going to use the shade Light. This is a matte highlighter which is not bad at all this is pigmented as well guys as you can see oh and i've got on this inner part uh, i am gonna use again the lightest shade so far so good guys i'm gonna go and finish the other the other eye of camera and i'll come back because i have a few more products to test okay guys so i'm back so i've also done my eyeliner because um it wasn't a new eyeliner to test anyway 
Um, the next bit I want to try is the primer. So this is from Essence and it's called Skill, Skin Loving for Sensitive Skin, as you can see here. Uh, so this is a moisturizing and nourishing non comedogenic in aloe vera. It has no fragrance, uh, alcohol, silicones, parabens, mineral oil. So you have everything here. Uh, and also this is vegan, guys. So I did mention at the beginning of this video that both of these brands, so Essence and the Catrice one, they are both cruelty free, which I'm absolutely um, love. Is they're affordable and they are uh, really cheap as well and they don't test on animals which is really good it definitely doesn't have any smell so this is how it looks like it looks like a moisturizer uh, i'm gonna add just this bit it feels quite lightweight so i'm really curious how this is gonna behave on my face um i do like the other one yeah it just feels like a light moisturizer which i'm not uh, upset about it okay i don't have a new um foundation to try on from them so today i'm just gonna go on with my l'oreal infallible and the true match so i'm gonna just mix these two together because i like the formulas this is a bit more lightweight and the other one is a bit more um not thick but a more of a coverage so i don't i want to do something in between so I'm just gonna use a pump from each So far these two foundations look actually really nice on top of this primer So yeah, as I said, a hydrating primer and I like how these uh, foundations look on top, they don't seem to se separate or anything. So yeah, it, it goes really really well together. So I didn't have a foundation to try on but I do have this concealer. Again this is from Essence and it's from the same range with the primer and it's again skin loving so it's sensitive, it's a concealer which has uh, covering and caring and again it's no comedogenic and aloe vera so it means it doesn't block your pores this is what it means non comedogenic again no fragrance alcohol silicones parabens uh, and this formula is vegan as well so this is a it is suitable for uh, sensitive skin which I love uh, it has a caring texture with aloe vera and buildable coverage medium to high so this is what they uh, they said so formulated without fragrance, any alcohol, silicones, paraben or any mineral oil and, and it's dermatologically tested on sensitive skin. Uh, by the way, mine is in the shade is 10 light. And this applicator is really interesting. It's a bit flat, so it's gonna take a lot more product so you don't have to dub in and feels really lightweight guys, which I absolutely love because a thick concealer sometimes can be a pain so let's see how much coverage this has and if it's not gonna dry quick or let's try this on it does blend out really quick and nice which I absolutely love Feels more liquidy than my normal concealers that I use. But if this is gonna dry out, if it's not gonna cake, the way it blends, um, probably it's gonna be like my new favorite. If if it's gonna dry out underneath the, the eyes, I mean just set itself because it blends like a dream. As I said, it's liquid enough, and that's it. It, it was the slightest uh, effort ever. At least blend it into the skin. It doesn't seem to se separate anything or the foundation. It's just really blended beautifully into the foundation and into the skin as well. I have a powder, and again, this is from Essence. 
I think most of my the products today are from Essence, but I do have from Catrice as well. A few more, I promise. Uh, again, this is called My Skin Perfector, and this is how it looks like. Uh, it's a loose fixing powder that has an instant blur effect and a natural matte finish. And this is the lightest shade, so again, this is in the shade light. This is vegan, ultra fine, silky smooth loose powder that fixes makeup and creates a flawless finish all day long. It helps to conceal imperfection and leave the skin even and mattified. So, it doesn't have a puff by the way, but which doesn't mind because I never use them anyway. And let's open this up. I'm a bit concerned because even for the light shade, it does feel quite dark. <laughs> So let's see. I'm just gonna add a bit in here. See what I mean? It doesn't feel quite light. It feels quite peachy. So I don't know if this is gonna change my foundation shade or not. The concealer seems to set nicely. It doesn't seem to crease, which I like. Then I'm just gonna take a bit of a powder because I want to see how it can behave and I'm gonna put off like it is any extra and let's see. It definitely mattifies. Uh, it doesn't seem to change my foundation color, which I was a bit um, concerned because as you can see, this is not quite a light shade. And with that concealer, it just blended out so beautifully. I'm surprised, guys. Now going to the part where I'm most excited. This bronzer uh, when it came because by the way all of this stuff I ordered it online because I have no idea where to purchase it on the store especially the Catrice one so I bought it from a website where I can find both so I don't have to go and shop and whatever just you know peace of mind and I've opened this stuff guys and when I open it this looks absolutely gorgeous it I think it actually they tried to do a dupe after the Milani bronzers it has a bit of a sheen and by the way this is huge as you can see it just fits on my palm uh, this it has the the slightest sheen and guys it feels so creamy and it's pigmented by the way and i cannot wait to put this on my face so this is called the glowing uh, golds i think this is a, a new range from essence uh, it has a vitamin E baked illuminous bronzer uh, and this is in the shade 01 uh, live life golden okay and it has a so as I said it's a vitamin E a baked luminous bronzer for a sun-kissed complexion with golden touch for light to medium skin tone so they have a, a darker shade as well so for more deeper complex and yes I want to try this on It has like a, I don't know, orangey on the tone. Oh yeah. I love it. It's a beautiful formula and it just went so nicely on, on my skin. Okay, I don't have a blush from them. A new blush, I mean, because um, I have this old one or whatever. From Essence, this is Deep Blush. This is in the shade Bespoke. And I absolutely adore this one. It has a bit of a sheen as well, again, because I like them. And guys, this is so creamy and nice. And I'm going to use a brush, which, by the way, it's quite pigmented. Moving on to Catrice products, and more Catrice products, uh, I have this highlighter. Now, the other highlighter I tried from them, guys, 
which was this one, um, the More Than Glow Highlighter. This was absolutely gorgeous when I tried it last time, really creamy and pigmented and it just, it looked so nicely onto the skin. Um, it, it come, it's buildable like from sheer to quite a lot of beaming um, sparkle. So I loved this one uh, when I tried it last time, but again, this one caught my attention. Uh, and again, this is a baked one. So it's called High Glow Mineral Highlighting Powder. This is in the shade Tent Light Infusion. So this is a baked highlighting powder infused with mineral minerals and fine light reflecting pearls uh, for a luminous look. It says sheer and buildable light reflect um, coverage, sorry, for a subtle glow or, or all over illuminated accents on cheeks, temples and decollete. So it looks really nice and beaming. So sheer, let's see. I didn't, uh, oh, by the way, guys, this is so creamy when you touch it. It doesn't look sheer. Look at this, guys. It's pretty similar. This is a more pinky um, type of highlighter, like pink, pinky champagne. It's it's not subtle, which I love. So let's try this on my face. It picks up a lot of product on the brush. Ah, it's not subtle. It's it's just gorgeous look at this i'm shocked it's nice I, I knew it wouldn't disappoint me it's not glittery it's really fine exactly like the other one this is so fine and this as well it has like a, some really um shiny like exactly as i said like pearls and it just looks absolutely gorgeous and you just need the tiniest amount and it performs gorgeous i'm gonna use it in on the tip of my nose as well because i like a lot of glow on my face not oily just glow I love it. Okay guys, another product from Catrice is actually this setting spray. Uh, this is, I think, a new line they launched. So this is called Clean ID, um, it says in here. And they have like, in this range, they have like powders and concealers, like I think a full face, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so this is called Glow Prime and Fix Spray with rose extract. This is vegan and has no silicone and mineral oils. Uh, what else is it? It has 98 natural ingredients. With this is a hydrating prime and fix spray, so you can prime your face with this as well. Uh, and as I said, it has rose extract. You have to hold this about 30 centimeters away, so about this um, from your face, and spray evenly. So you have to keep your eyes closed and mouth and so on. This has 100 mils, by the way, guys, and I'm really curious. Um, how aggressive this is seems like a fine mist let's see oh yeah it has a fine mist finally it has the slightest smell which um, like a chemical smell but it's not strong and I adore, I can't believe this, this spritzer is so nice and fine. Oh my God, I love it. And it does give me a bit of a dewiness, as you can see, which it's my thing lately. Uh, I'm gonna let this dry out and um, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so now the settings spray has set, it has literally sunk into my skin. I'm shocked. I'm not joking, I think this is one of the 
best setting sprays I've tried. I did try the other one they have and that was quite aggressive and it has like a quite a strong uh, citrus smell but this was good I mean uh, it has a fine mist it literally sinked everything into my skin and now my skin it looks flawless um, it's just when I powder it did look a bit powder and everything but now my skin looks flawless after this it's i'm shocked the next thing i want to try is a mascara and this is from essence again this is called the lash princess mascara no now i think this is a new version because i have the other version which is the green one and this one again is the lash princess and it's the false lash effect mascara and this is how the one looks like it's a really great mascara it just coat every single lash it doesn't make it clumpy and everything it's just it builds up your lashes and they look absolutely gorgeous so i do love this original one and they have a waterproof version as well so this one the pink one it's a curl and volume mascara now this brush looks a bit different as you can see and i think it looks exactly like the um l'oreal paradise lashes uh, type of mascara because this um, one f feels whenever I add it in it feels so comfortable uh, and flexible and I cannot wait to try this so let's see it does uh, add a bit of a volume and it does give like a nice coat it seems to separate them quite nicely so I think this is a good mascara as well guys this mascara is really good I don't know if you can actually see it um, I have teeny tiny lashes they are straight they are like non-existing because I need uh, false lashes so they can actually um, see it gave me a bit of a length, it gave me definition, it definitely curled them a bit because even if I use a curler, it doesn't help. But I like it, they really, they're separated and I just added one layer by the way. Uh, none of them are clumpy, it's like they look really nice. I could actually go out without adding any false lashes um, because I like how this mascara makes my lashes look. So I have just a few more bits to try out. Um, I don't have a lip um, thick, but I have some lip glosses and a lip liner. This is from Essence, by the way, or already opened, in the shade 05 Famous, and this is the Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner Waterproof, and it has a sharpener as well. Um, I did try this before in a different shade, I am just curious if this is gonna perform the same or not. Yes, it's creamy and nice. It definitely performs exactly like the other one. The other one is uh, long lasting as well. Okay, and the uh, lip gloss I'm talking about is this Shine 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 from Essence. Uh, this has a wet look gloss and this is in the shade Flirt Alert. And it's quite a bright pink. I love the applicator. It has like this heart shape and it's quite big and it's so comfortable on the lips. It's, uh, by the way, not quite, it's sheer, but it has some color anyway. Um, and I look, I think it looks so nice with this uh, lip liner. It feels so nice and comfortable. It's not really sticky, but it does feel nicer on the lips. It, it, it feels quite comfortable. So I'm going to go apply some lashes because um, I'm going out later and I do want to use some lashes. I'm going to fix the hair as well. And I'm coming back with the finished look and also my final thoughts about this product. Ok, 
Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I have to say that I was absolutely impressed about each single product I've tried today. I didn't expect that. I literally I have nothing bad to say about these products I've tried today. Uh, I literally like every single one. Uh, I do have have a few that there I absolutely I absolutely love. The first one is actually this setting spray. I was so impressed about how everything is set on my face. Um, I think that it made everything melt uh, into the skin and make everything look like skin. Um, I didn't expect that to, from this, to be honest. Uh, it, it does, it is suitable for um, sensitive skin, it does says in here. Um, I never had this effect, to be honest, from a setting spray to melt everything in and just it, like it blurred everything this is how I actually uh, behave not only that the pump it's so fine which I absolutely love it just made everything as I said flawless and as I said I did love the eyeshadow palette it, it performed absolutely brilliant um, it was better quality than the last one I tried from them color store is absolutely gorgeous if you have like my skin tone which is light um, you will absolutely love this uh, nude eyeshadow palette. It's quite compact, so you can actually um, take with with you if you go, um, you know, on a trip. Um, you have all the nudes in here that you need. So uh, also, as I said, the colors were really creamy. They performed well. They blended really well. Uh, they build up on top of each other really well. So no issue with this at all. Love the lip gloss. Love the la uh, lip liner. It's, it's comfortable, it's hydrating, this is really good quality, it's creamy, so nothing bad about this. I did like the, um, the primer, it's quite a hydrating primer, it went really well with my foundation that I usually use. That was the L'Oreal um, Unfailable and the Perfect Match. So with those it went really well. It doesn't have any smell, so if you have sensitive skin, you will actually love this one. Um, cause yeah, it was and sick in um, in the skin as well. No issues. Also, I did like the powder, so I said nothing wrong to say about it. It was just a bit misleading how it looks inside because it looked quite um, dark, but it didn't change like the color on my skin at all. Um, it blurred like my pores and everything. It it did blurred out a lot, so a good powder. Also, I did enjoy the bronzer. I did enjoy the highlighter as well. It, it just looks like skin. It doesn't look glittery. It's really fine, and they are huge, as you can see as well. I also really enjoyed the new ma the mascara they have, so the other version. I could actually separate my um, my lashes. Um, it it didn't make them clumpy, so it was just a really good mascara. It's nothing wrong. Then my my last favorite. Um, that I've tried today is this concealer. I was shocked how well actually blended under my eye. It does have coverage. It just melts into the skin so nicely and you can bl blend it out so easily. Um, it did cover my blemishes. Um, so I can say it has like medium type of coverage, but as I said, it's one of the best concealers I've tried. It just, my under eyes look flawless. It did increase, it just, synced into the skin and this is how it stayed so love it so that's it for today guys um i hope you enjoyed this video because i really did enjoy making this uh, video i never expected to actually like every single product i tried today i was you know skeptic because last time when i tried a few products from them um it was me 50 50 and by the way guys just to be clear this video is not sponsored at all i bought everything from my own money and after I tried all of this today, as I said, I'm shocked with the quality. Uh, I will definitely purchase these products again in case they are not limited edition. Hopefully they're not because there are a few which I'm obsessed, which I want to try more and more. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, also, let me know in the comments down below if you actually tried any of these products and to tell me how they perform on your skin. If you like them or if you didn't, if you have like a different uh, reaction on it uh, or you have a different opinion, just let me know in the comments down below. 
Um, also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It will actually mean a lot to me to grow my channel. And thank you again for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.